Alright guys, in today's video we have two very interesting news to talk about which will definitely hype people up for the next big gaming event this December. The first one is a big rumor about the Elden Ring and the second is actual news from an ambitious open world RPG called Crimson Desert. Before we start make sure you guys drop a like to give some support on this video and let's get to it. One of the most anticipated game currently in development set to release in 2021 is of course from Software's Elden Ring project with George R. R. Martin. Anxious fans are not so patiently awaiting news of any kind about the action RPG. Still, even though everyone wants to know more about it, the developers have not said a single thing about it since its reveal at E3 2019. Even the Xbox head Phil Spencer revealed in an interview with GameSpot that he recently had the opportunity to play Elden Ring himself, which he found it super ambitious but still didn't say anything else. Well, according to many rumors just recently, this is all coming to a close thanks to popular industry insiders revealing details about its upcoming reveal. First of all, talked about on the Xbox Era podcast on YouTube, which has leaked other things in the past, according to one of their source, Elden Ring will be one of the many game reveals expected at this year the Game Awards show on December 10, which will make From Software finally break their silence. Another rumor coming from another insider called Imran Khan, which also leaked things in the past, suggested on Twitter that there are some reasonable hints that an Elden Ring trailer is coming soon, possibly at the Game Awards, as multiple Bandai Namco marketing people have been retweeting and even on retweeting the Game Awards stuff, which is kind of weird. We're not done yet, another insider by the name of Lance McDonald, who had previously done the Bloodborne 60 FPS PlayStation 4 Pro patch, said during a livestream, that Elden Ring is almost finished and From Software is apparently waiting to show it publicly. This news comes from contractors who are supposedly working on the game and are excited to show it. This is all pretty exciting and I cannot wait for its reveal, but still we should take this with a grain of salt. From Software's past game Sekiro Shadows Die Twice was first teased at the Game Awards a few years back, so we never know, maybe Elden Ring will be shown, we'll have to see on December 10. Next up we have the upcoming official gameplay reveal of one of the game I'm most intrigued about called Crimson Desert. The Game Awards is now just one week away and one game has been confirmed to make an appearance. Crimson Desert will make its gameplay debut during the show and I'm super excited to see what it's all about. Though we already have details and a reveal trailer on what it's mainly going to be. So here's the game's description before its imminent gameplay reveal. First of all Crimson Desert is coming from Pearl Abyss developers, creators of Black Desert. Crimson Desert though won't be similar to Black Desert at all, as it is said to include a full single player and multiplayer storyline, with characters to follow, meet, and an overall great story. You can choose to play the game all alone if you'd like, which I'm pretty happy about. The main character of the game is Macduff, son of Martinus. He's the leader of a ragtag band of mercenaries. Macduff is a man in constant turmoil, struggling with the responsibilities of leadership and the survival of those who rely on him. He has a tragic past and no matter how hard he tries, he cannot escape from it. The team has created entirely new worldviews, religions, and characters unique to the world of Crimson Desert, worthy of a true epic game. Furthermore, the studio added, Crimson Desert offers an immersive single player campaign teeming with engaging quests based on the exploits of many mercenaries you'll find available for hire. There will also be a vast amount of content based around a more traditional RPG or MMORPG format. This is a world of mythical creatures who are neither friend nor foe, cruel mercenaries vying for blood and powerful figures conspiring in the shadows of the royal court. Players won't be able to let their guard down. To survive these bigger threats, they'll need to learn to make strategic choices, all brought to life through Pearl's Abyss' unique action-driven combat system. That being the case, the biggest friend or foe, as in any survival MMORPG, will be the player right beside you. 
As far as character development goes, Crimson Desert tells the story of many different characters whose fates are entwined with the main character and his band of mercenaries. Each character has their own unique backgrounds and tales to tell, affecting everything from the decisions they make to the gear they equipped. This extends to the lands of Crimson Desert, which are full of other mercenary groups, each with their own distinct personalities and inclinations. The developers described it as the next gen of MMORPG with a diverse range of creatures, both big and small, that threaten your survival. This is a land of mythical beings, neither friend or foe. PvE is currently the game's focus, and who exactly you'll be playing as is also still somewhat behind the curtain. Though Macduff was referred to as the main character, with other factions and characters playing into his personal story, Pearl Abyss remains kind of mysterious about exactly what role he takes when it comes to gameplay. We might be able to create our own main character, but we'll have to see for that. Like Desert Online, the developer's past game might definitely be best known for its incredibly in-depth character creation, and the developers also confirmed that this would play a part in Crimson Desert. I quote, We are confident that customization can easily blend within the story line. Of course, the customization system will be matched to the Black Desert level, but they're not ready to discuss exactly how it will fit within the game. Pearl Abyss has also updated their engine, which even if they wouldn't have updated it, it still look amazing. This is the kind of developers that never do a downgrade to their game, and it will look great at release. Take a look at Black Desert to know what I'm talking about, this game is really good looking. It's also been said there are more areas than those shown in the first trailer, and they will be unveiled when it is ready. Crimson Desert will be available on both PC and consoles, and it is expected to release on all platforms at the same time. So maybe PS5, PS4, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. I'm super excited for the gameplay reveal on December 10, and count me in to cover it. Alright guys, if you're excited for the Game Awards, of course drop a like on this video, and subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks to I Am Legend, Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Rickno23, and Kian Zolfagari for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents only, which will both support me and the channel as a whole to make more and better videos.